When the solid ground is falling out from underneath my feet Between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see And when I'm feeling like I've been let down by my friends and my family I can hear the rain reminding me In the eye of the storm, you remain in control Surrounds me in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. When my hopes and dreams are far from me and I'm running out of faith, I see the future I picture slowly fade away. And when the tears of pain and heartache are pouring down my face. Find my peace in Jesus' name In the eye of the storm You remain in control In the middle of the war You guard my soul You alone are the anchor When my sails are torn Your love surrounds me And I just don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet I did my best, now I'm scared to death That we might lose everything And when a sickness takes my child away And there's nothing I can do My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm You remain in control Welcome and thank you for being here for chapter 143. Today we're going to see a heartfelt cry by David of desperation and need. This was clearly a rough day for him, which we've all had. Today in church, we talked about staying close to Christ at all times, but even when life seems so uncertain and we're going through extreme difficulties, that there remains joy in what the Lord has to provide for us. So although we're not being chased by men with swords... <laughs> We definitely have our own battles daily and need God's hand of comfort and protection. Let's align our hearts with David as he cries out to the Lord. Verse 1. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your faithfulness, in your righteousness. And do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no man living is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in dark places like those who have long been dead and remember David's battles with Saul. Verse 4, therefore, my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your doings. I muse on the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul longs for you as a parched land. Selah. Praise, pause, and reflect. Verse 7. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will become like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For the sake of your name, O Lord, revive me. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your loving kindness, cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul. For I am your servant. And you guys want to know the secret? Trust in God at all times, even in the face of death. He has a plan. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and lift up our voices in prayer. Dear God, we love you. 
You are glorious, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-wise, all-gracious, and all-sufficient. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. All glory, honor, and power belong to you, and you alone are worthy to be praised because you created all things, and because of your will and your sake, they were created. Lord, there is no one who instructs you in the way of understanding. Many people on our earth act as if they're all-knowing and have infinite wisdom, yet your word teaches that no man should rely on his own understanding, that true wisdom can only come from the source of infinite knowledge, which is you. So if man doesn't seek you for wisdom and counsel, their thoughts derive from the pit. Humanity is like a drop from a bucket and a speck of dust on a scale. All the nations are nothing before you. Actually, when all is said and done, they will be meaningless. No one and nothing compares to you, Lord. We willingly acknowledge before you that without you, our lives are meaningless. But with you, Lord, we have graciously received everything a person could ever hope for. In you, we now possess life, love, peace, guidance, support, hope, encouragement, provision, protection, wisdom, and friendship. Not only friendship with you, but the gift of the body of believers, spouses, and family. And for those of us who truly believe, trust, and follow you, we receive the wonderful gift of intimate godly fellowship with one another as an eternal family. You've been too good to us, Lord, and we just want to say thank you. We'll leave it at this for the day, but know that in our hearts we rejoice in your love and your goodness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. You guys know I appreciate having you here with me, that it means a lot and it really encourages me, so thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.